How you doing? Still with the life
nose. I want to get inside that car. So you can inside that car. No, not right now. Not right now? Who are you? Who are you telling me I can't get there right now? I'm trying to get you something to go surfing. I'm trying to get you something to go surfing. I'm trying to get you something to go surfing. I'm trying to get you something to I go check out the fucking camera. I do this and that, and then you fucking have the camera 95% of the fucking time. Damn right. <laughs> that ain't no damn right. Yes, it is. How am I supposed to get any fucking better if you if you got the fucking camera all the fucking time? Yeah, are you, are you trying to do this for a little? Yeah. <laughs> Fine.
bitch. Is that thing zooming a lot more? Some of that beach type stuff in the back. Hey, here, we want your money. Alright, so I guess we'll talk about first. Like, well, this, is this like there you do most of your, your surfing out? Right so, here at Shell Island Resort is the number one spot pretty much for East Kayakers, East Coast Surf Kayakers. Um, Stove Lankenship comes out here. He's one of the guys, he and Ralph Beer got me into the sport, starting right here. Uh, my dad and I started coming out, and uh, it's a real good break. Got a lot of variety here. And uh, we don't get as much crap from the surfers. All the local shortboarders sometimes don't get along with the surf kayakers well. So since there are more longboarders here, and there's a variety of breaks, it's pretty fun. Like, uh, you, you met Stowe and Beer out here? Uh, Stowe and Ralph are pretty much gurus in the area for surf kayaking, and I was talking to one of the guys at the local shop, and he recommended them. Everybody knows who they are around here, and uh, after a while, we came across like them. To get in well, I've been kayaking probably for about four years actually not that long a couple of years two three years and uh 
you know, I've been surfing since I was about eight, so I've been doing that for a long time. And uh, somebody said, well, you should try surf kayaking, and I put, put them together. And uh, I was like, all right, who do I go out with? And uh, went out with one of the guys from a shop doing a demo one time. And he's like, if you want to keep on doing this, give Stow Blankenship or Ralph Beer a call. They're, uh, they'll set you up. And both of them helped me uh, at first checking out and learning everything I could on riding waves. So it was fun. That's cool. I like that. Um but, okay, I guess we need to state your name. And... All right, well, I'm Judd Watkins. I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I enjoy surfing at Wrightsville Beach. Um, and you're the world champion? That's... Of surf kayaking for the international class 18 and under division. Well, I competed in the World Championships in 1999 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and every time you compete on the team, you have to go to team trials, try out for that, so I competed on the circuit before both World Championships and uh, made, accumulated enough points to go to the team trials, and both times, well, one time it was the weather for Brazil it was so bad and the surf was so big pretty much anybody who showed up for the contest made the team but uh Stow Blankenship and I both got enough points to uh pre-qualify for a spot on the team for 2001 before going out to Santa Cruz California competing there Okay. And Lydia, was she with you? Then? Lydia competed in Brazil, and that's where she won the world championships. And she also qualified for the team in 2001, but she uh, turned her back on us and ran off with some longboarder or something, so she does that now. So what do you like about it? <laughs> yeah, what do you like about it? Uh, surf kayaking, to me, is... One thing I like about it is it gives me a chance to get out there, be physical, do something, get my heart be going. Also, the uh, the adrenaline gets going when you're out there in big waves, hitting big moves, and just screaming down the face of a wave. It's a lot of fun, and those main things. Um, when you're out there, like. Um, what was his name? Philip? Yeah, Philip. He was telling us like different tricks he does. Right. Um, well, surf kayaking, international class at least, is judged a lot like longboarding. So you're, you get out there, you have wave selection that you're going for. You want to wait for the big set waves. And once you're on those waves, you're judged on style. So you, you start, or I try to start most every wave. Just, uh, hitting a bottom turn and a cut back and then depending on how the wave shapes up you can do big moves, catch air, roundhouse cutbacks, do floaters, there are all kinds of fun moves you can do and uh, the better style the higher your score and you want to ride that wave out as long as you can and that's length the ride and you combine those all together and with uh, a panel of judges and combine your scores for competitions to see what it comes out to be highest score wins you know like uh since you're since you're like the world champion do a lot of people know about it i mean does it help with like the girls <laughs> with oh, yeah. the girls exactly. well uh I, I don't know i hadn't always been the best guy for girls but uh, some girls are like yeah man world champ right on that's cool <laughs> but it's not me getting more action so i just go out there for the fun of it and a lot of people at my school know about it, at least my closest friends, but it's not a huge deal. It's not, I walk down the hall and they, hey, there's that world champion surf kayaker. It's nothing like that at all. It's Judd, yeah, I hear he surf kayaks. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, but I do other stuff too. I play on the um, 
varsity baseball team at New Hanover High School and uh, ran cross country this year. So I try to mix things up, but you know, surf kayaking is what got me in the newspaper and that's kind of what I have a name for in some areas, but it's not a huge deal to most people. Not really me either. Like, uh, you're, how old are you? I'm 16. 16, yeah. And, uh, it's only 16 to 18, you guys are competing. Yeah, it's right? 18 and under, actually, so I, under. Oh, okay. I don't think there were any, I was probably one of the youngest ones out there competing on the team, but, I mean, technically, you know, five-year-old could come out there and compete in the same class as me, but you're not seeing them out there. You're, it's pretty much 16 to 18-year-olds, guys, full-grown guys from uh, a lot of the UK countries, uh, Jersey Islands had a real good team last year, a couple of strong juniors there. West Coast is real strong. They put out some good juniors, and uh, they had second place in the uh, world championships. Our team got third. East Coast did. So it's a, it's a pretty competitive sport. It's just not real well known. It's not one of your. It's not baseball. It's not soccer. People don't play it all around the world. You have to have the right wave conditions, and we got those here at Wrightsville Beach. So representing. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Like, and speaking of that, like we have two world champions right here. Uh, that, that's it, right? Just Lydia two. McCormick and uh, myself. Yeah, and there's a lot of other people that are really. And there's a, a huge crowd here. There's kayakers anonymous. Guys yeah. give me a hard time. A junior out here. The only reason they give you a hard time is I'm making them look bad, but you know, we won't tell them that. But Wilmington's a real good city for surf kayaking. It's close to the beach. There's a decent number of people here and we got good breaks like Shell Island and not but 30 minutes from here there's south facing beaches too so pretty much any wind direction any type of weather we're gonna have waves and get out here year round in the fairly warm water and practice that helps a lot that's why we Wilmington's had a person on the surf kayak team every year it's existed yeah, it's been around for how long surf kayaking the world championships have been going on for uh, Boy, before I can remember, um, I know they had at least back to 92, and they also, um, I'm not sure when exactly the U.S. started competing in it, but the East Coast and West Coast teams split um, for the 99 World Championships was the first year that they competed separately in them. So that gives us a... Uh, a little bit of variety, yeah. more Americans out there to try to take on the rest of the world. Yes, go USA. That's right. Yeah. So. Um, What's your middle name? <laughs> actually, my middle name is Judd. I, I give my Judd, that's a, I guess it's a nickname. It's Judson Watkins. What's the first name? Peter. Peter. Yeah, it's a family name. It goes way back. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey man, the only thing that matters is the last name. I got Watkins, Watkins Pride. Yeah, represent the family right out there. So yeah, that's that's all that matters. <laughs> Little known person. Yeah. Um, who's your friend? Dude? Hey, do you want to come get in here? Come on, Al, get over here. Get a shot of Alan. Yeah, I, yeah, every once in a while I have to judge. give some surfers a pound. <laughs> and we did get out with boxing gloves every once in a while, but no, I, I got to credit surfing for some of my uh, success in the sport because you're riding waves out there on a short board or a long board. You're riding waves on a surf kayak, body board, body surfing. It doesn't make a difference. Everybody's out there riding waves, having fun. Is that right, Al? Yeah. Regardless Alan, of... Alan's not pissed. <laughs> not too pissed on that. Have we covered everything? We sit down in better light and conditions and yeah. if you want to come up with some different questions. Some, some real questions? Yeah. yeah. I just bullshit around. Hey, what's up? Hey. My waist size is uh, 32 and I'm about 6 foot 1, 175 pounds. My favorite color is You like walks on the beach? I like long walks on the beach, full moons. Favorite restaurant? I don't know, wherever they serve steak, that's my favorite restaurant.
eat lots of food, surf kayak, it makes you hungry. You like puppy dogs? I like dogs much better than cats. What's wrong with cats? You don't even, you don't even have to do anything. Cats are pointless, man. You see, you go home and, all right, dog guard my boat, guard my surfboard, yeah? And the cat will come over there and like take a crap on it or something, yeah? Dogs are better. You can just live your lives with cats. You're just like, here's your litter box. <laughs> they do what? What are you doing? I don't do that. That's just snow. That sucks. Are you still going? <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. Unless you got anything else to add. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so, blonde hair, blue eyes, and uh, I'm a junior in high school. New Hanover High School, best high school in the county for sure. How do you know that? New Hanover, it's on Market Street. It's the old one. It's the we got. Like, go out like north on Market Street. 74, yeah. Oh, west on Market, right there, getting towards downtown. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one with the trailer of, sitting out in front right now. Is there a lot of gang violence in that school? As long as I'm walking around in the halls, it stays pretty peaceful. You got a pack in uh, He carries a paddle around with it. He's got a big boat. If, uh, there's a problem with me. You know, uh, our school's, you know, for being a downtown school, it's really not that bad. People got their own hobbies, got their own ways. What it's do you do besides school. this? Well, I guess you did. I did like some soccer games, so like other soccer games. Yeah. I well, I played. Uh, I played JV soccer, and this summer, actually, I do slalom kayaking as well, which is the Olympic sport of kayaking. It's like just that, going through wait. the gates. It's on rivers, actually. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, so I was doing uh, slalom kayaking, and I uh, came into an upstream gate, tore a rotator cuff doing that. I kind of yeah, bumming from that. So I was gonna play soccer, but. Uh, Doctor told me diving on the ground after balls. I'm a goalie. Not the best idea. So I took a year off to run cross country. It was a, kept me in shape. Yeah. He was like, don't do that. Kids, listen to me. Don't do it. I was like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. I'm going to run. You're a doctor. What do you know? Oh, what do you know? That's right. Yeah, say that to Dr. Bullduke all the time, right? <laughs> Yeah, he kind of actually yeah, I've seen him out here. Occasionally, is right. Now, as long as you're out, you're involved in the sport, putting up with uh, crazy guys like me, stay. Well, dude. Well, does, does he, has he done it ever since we've been doing this? No. A lot of people get chased off by the winter time. Only time is. Mm. Big swell in the winter times and these cold northeast storms come in. It's, yeah. I think it's worth it, but some people don't. Man, Big well, surf's what it's all about. <laughs> I feel like screw that, it's cold. It's cold right now. <laughs> we'll see how y'all do it. You don't even have a wetsuit. You still got it. Wrong one. If there's anything out there, I was going to put the camera in there. Right yeah. There, but. Maybe this weekend. Uh, yeah, I'll like, probably be back. I'm going home, but I'll probably be back. Yeah, I'll like go to my grandparents. I'm going to be back like Sunday. Yeah. Maybe then. Give me a call, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for the interview. No problem. problem.
you down. Yeah, Jason, you missed it. 